Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going and welcome to another episode of Rogue Tech where we are starting a new chain of events guys. We're gonna go for another flare up for another set of priority missions because we are on a planet that is currently under attack. When we take a look at this here, we are at Oliver which is under attack by Kurita. So, two days until the next mission, the Draconis combined forces are currently losing. Huh, we're gonna do it as every good mercenary would do, right? We're gonna put ourselves on the winning side using um, the Lirin uh, advantage a little bit, alright? So, let's go ahead and do exactly that. Um, anything else that we need to do beforehand? I mean, I could wait for two days, get a bit more repairs done and maybe get the next mission? Wait a second, maybe that's possible. I don't want to go over the next financial report because I'm not entirely sure if I uh, still have the flare-up available then. Let's see. Navigation. Three days until the next mission. The Draconis combined forces are losing even further. Alright. That's quite okay. It's quite okay. So we're gonna start this now. We have 1.1 million. There's a flare-up that I want to play. Let's do this. There we go. Priority mission. And it allows us to actually wait for three more days. It doesn't help us with the Avatar or the Archer, but uh, it's it's something. Since we got the money, should we go for a little bit of uh, tinkering here, maybe? I mean, we have an Atlas, we have a Bargas, both of them want to be ready. What Do we want the Bargas, though? I mean, it comes with one Ballistic, two Energy, two Missile Hardpoints. What would I make with this thing? It is an incredible artillery mech, by the way. A 70 tonner that can stabilize itself, getting more accuracy. And has, having a turret mount that gives us a plus 3 accuracy. It's insane. Uh, let, let me quickly check this out. Is the turret mount plus 3? Yeah, it's plus 3. And uh, don't wonder, guys. It says here, quad turret, plus 3 accuracy inside and center. So this extends to here and here. Which is where all of the weapons are. And we can make this a thunderbolt carrier. We can make this an arrow carrier if we wanted to. Huh? We got two clan arrows. I need to know. I just need to quickly know. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. This is the problem. It doesn't have missiles on both sides also. Ah, crap. Crappity crap. Crap crap. Crap. I wanted both arrows and I want an XL. So I could run this as a standard engine build. But I don't think it's gonna work. Let's put a quick core in this guy with a 280 rated core. Yeah, this is not possible. We need an XL and then spread the arrows on both sides also. It would be so good, guys. Having two arrows indirectly firing with a plus three accuracy base from the turret, plus everything that we put in the cockpit, plus siege mode. Boom. Love it. But not with the bar guest. Um, the other one, the bigger one, the 80 ton, I can do it. Goliath. Goliath? I think. Yeah. That one. So, quick check on the Atlas. I want to see if there is anything possible here that makes sense. What do we even want to do with this guy? No idea. But it's a 100 ton. Come on, it's an Atlas. It's also a command mech. So, we gotta bring it to life. Let's start with it. We're gonna start with the Clan XL. We are not starting with the Clan XL because that's ridiculous. 7 million C bills. Why is that so much? I expected like 5, but 7? Holy crap. Um, I guess we're gonna grind some money, huh? Okay. I guess we're gonna grind some money. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and do exactly that. Attack contract one day. Uh-huh. Why one? Wasn't it three? I guess we launched a mission, huh? And we have a financial report at the same time. Luckily, we are not in debt yet. But let's see what we can do here. We are playing a three and a half... No, a four and a half skull battle in the Highlands. Four Kurita. Ah! Ooh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And it's one of these high-value lances here. I could go all in with the money and just get Atlas done. But it feels bad. I want to get a goodie. I want to get two goodies. Are two goodies worth the money? So if I go to two goodies, we are giving up 800,000 sea bills. That's a lot of money. Would it be better than an atlas? The things that I can get? Probably not. I'm gonna get one out of five. It's fine. Let's get this guy rolling. And here we go. So, let me see. What do we need? We have this vulture with IATMs. And yes, I put an ATM in this guy. I, I realized. I realized later. Thanks to your comments. Huh? Huh? Where is it? IATM 3? ATM 9. This is supposed to be an IATM 9. So, we can technically run it. It's a mech. It's not optimal because we have a dead weapon, but that's fine. I think I need everybody here. 
Let's go with the avatar as well. And the rest of the situation is going to be an arrow and the carrier. Ah, 550 tons. Not possible. That is possible. All right. So let's go and do this. We have Apex. Apex is being the Crusader pilot. There we go. We got the precision and the incendiary ammo on this guy now. That's pretty cool. We have here an Archer pilot. I'm going to put you on the Vulture, I guess. Jaster's also there. Nice. Fang. Stormcrow Bandit Hunchback. You have no designated thing, but I'm going to put you on the Avatar because you have Bandit. That's good. Uh, King Wolf on the Warhammer. Mr. Hot Boy. As well as the Marauder. That's Utrid. Utrid, our headshotter. Then we have some tankers here in the back. Best tanker that we have is... I guess Rafer on the Arrow. And then Wildfire on the Oracle. So we got some sensor lock as well, which might be handy. Yeah, this is our squad. We are four and a half against four and a half. I know. This is weird. But it's fine. It has to be. Somehow. <laughs> I need to make sure that I'm not taking as much damage, uh, or that I take as little damage as possible. Uh, because I want to have the downtimes as uh, low as possible. We need to make sure that we are combat ready in three days after this mission. So let's try to not overextend. I don't know, question mark? Or do we just kill fast so that we don't take too much return fire? Both is viable. We need to see what we can find on the battlefield. But again, the less damage we take, the better it is for us in general. We can bring the tanks to the front line, especially the arrow. That thing, as long as it's not getting destroyed, can absorb damage without the need of repairs afterwards. So... Gotta be careful, but aggressive at the same time. Like a, a very careful, aggressive maneuver. That's what warfare is known for. <laughs> we'll see, guys. We'll see. It's a battle. A battle against uh, highly equipped enemies. Heavy lands inserted, yeah. Reactor online. Online. Sensors. Online. 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 Weapons. Online. Systems All systems phenomenal. Let's go. I hope it's just one lance and no reinforcements or anything. That would be ideal. I'm here for the money anyway, so let's shred them. Watch the trees. You never know what's in them. They have the high ground on the other side of the battlefield. I'm gonna take the high ground right here, but we're gonna stay in cover for the first turn, okay? No line of sight. Just wanna see what they what they bring and what comes. And we have spawned next two reinforcements. Looks like enemy reinforcements. And I see a martyr. Oh, boy. Yeah. Anybody want a railgun? Jazz as well. Jazz 2 tactical missile carrier. These guys are amazing. Okay. Ready to rock. Uh, I mean, there's no way back anymore. There's only a way forward, I guess. Rafa has turned 15. What are you? Probably lower. I'm thinking about sensor lock plus streak ATMs. To get the Mata down quickly? Is that possible even? Overheating is not an option, really. I mean, I'll be staying in cover all the way in the back. Got something you want done? This is difficult. I, I could go all the way in. That's the thing. Give it a turn. Alright. I'll do it. Oh boy. It's not great. But I'll do it. Retreat, no. So. Ooh, this is rough. This is so rough. How aggressive do I want to be? How aggressive can I afford being? I want the spy set ping to go off now. I. Um, yeah, let's go. Oh god, this is gonna hurt. Yep. Locked on. Negative evasion, please say negative evasion as well. Uh, Centurion is unchanged, but the Dreadnought has negative one now. We need to shave these five off. Ooh, it comes also with two Ruck 5s and Sensor AMS, which is ridiculously strong. The Spinal Mountain Heavy Gauss Rifle is the one that I'm afraid of, though. It's not even a BFG, it's a Spinal Mountain Heavy Gauss. This guy is armed to the T. Uh, huh? Do I wait any further? He is at turn 12. The other guys are faster. This is fine. I'll go for it. On the move. Pull. Let's fire everything that we got. So we got a PPC scrambling on him as well. That makes it harder for him to hit. But I don't know if that's gonna be good enough or not. 
That's just the reinforcements, boys. The real opponent is somewhere here. Here. Whatever. I hear a tank. Why do I hear a tank? Here. Alright, I AMS is holding. That's good. I'm really legitimately afraid. Confirmed. ATMs, it is. So we bring the Vulture uh, as high on the high ground as possible and we go for it. We have the Evasion Ignore on this guy, so we don't really care about those five. But the question is, do we go for... Um, Infernos or do we attack? They're running hard and Pharaoh. Crazy. Radical Compact Double Heat Sink It. Since it's Radical, I don't see the overheat here. I just don't see it. It's gonna be standard ammo. I, I go all in. Ah, don't have warlord, but control burst. Let's see. I got you. Dealt some damage, but yeah, that AMS is nasty. All right. Oh, artillery. This is the bane of our existence right now. Uh, it seems to be a long term, by the way. Damn Big AOE minutes. splash. No sniper, okay. Um, but still, these guys will shred tiny bits of armor from everybody. Each of my mechs will have at the very least one day of repair time as a result. That means that we will not be able to get where we want to be, I guess. Oh, no. Get high ground, win games. Let's go. Fire at this guy. I, I don't know, I'm just going all in. This plasma is not doing much, but at the very least it's doing a bit. Uh, Black Knight. He's gonna be our decoy. We're gonna put him all the way to the front. Hopefully they are falling for it. Uh, and cover, obviously. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ah, there he is. Cobalt. Actually, I should have used him before. Because he can ping again. Let's do it. We still have some things that we can fire. What is it already? He should have... Ah, we were not quite in range, huh? Unfortunate. Un... Freaking fortunate. Obviously, unobstructed direct line of sight. We are aligning ourselves for a nice stray shot from this guy, by the way. Artemis, Artemis, Artemis. Here we go. Standard ammo or caseless? Caseless shoots 90 times, which is really good. Alright. We go all in. I wonder if the AMS can fire twice. Can. And it helps him a little bit. Zero, wait, zero out of 75 hit by AMS, so that's good. What can I do for you? Yeah, I don't see it. The thing that I can hope for is that they will attack the arrow, and we absorb it with the arrow. This guy can probably take an arrow out of the sky. Um, I'm not gonna shoot it. I'm gonna shoot this guy directly. You betcha. Hey, we got some damage in. That's a rock centurion, by the way. Oh god, these guys have the value of the world. And the jazz. The jazz is gonna be so bad. Here we go. Sand is moving. To cover. Not shooting directly, only indirectly with some missiles. Perfect. We have one more activation. One more activation, guys. Affirmative. Come on, give me, give me a headshot or something. Shoot all the times. With precision ammo, because we got it. We have a Warlord ability as well, so let's use it. You cannot dodge this, can you? Copy that. Not enough. Retaliation. Brace for impact. Here comes the Jazz. We probably eat the missiles. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, I see. Ah, it's Swarm Ammo, not Tandem. But still, the damage is real. It's the same. Principle. These cuts commander. don't threaten our lives, but they threaten a big repair cost. Taking damage. Yikes. Almost got the sight also. This is so close. Also, Atlas 2? It's kind of cheating, by the way, that we know what's coming, I guess. Damage minimal. Uh, damage this, minimal. this whole combat lock feels bad, actually. There it is. The spinal mount heavy gauss rifle did not connect. Losing armor. We, however, got racked. Alright, and this is where we go in now. This is where we just try to destroy. Um, let's, let's go. All We've right. already established that our IATMs are not good against that guy. So we go for the Cobalt. Uh, sensor lock would be 
very, very much appreciated here. How do we go for this? What about high explosive? We can go for high explosive. Ah, we gotta do it. We also got a PPC. Go. Let's go. Headshot. Ah, and the sensor AMS is out. Should have checked beforehand, but it's good to know. It's good to see. So far, so good. Last tank in this area. I think I heard a tank. Hover tank or something. This guy, maybe? Wait. Seth Stealth Bomber. Yet again, we know what's coming. I don't like this. It's kind of cheating. It's spoiling. I'm gonna turn that off. What would we attack with the melee? Nothing, I'd say. Absolutely nothing. I can go in and use my uh, Nova EFC, no, my Warfare Suite, and scramble their sensors, take their ECM shielding away, and shoot my lasers. And I think this is exactly what we're gonna be doing. <laughs> Cobot is gonna get sensor locked later. Yeah, it's fine. On my way, double time. Rafer is gonna make that happen. Here we go. You are affected by my things now. Locked on target. Open. Good to see. And since he's running composite, he has very little structure. Armor is what he has, but structure is not one of his big... Uh, strong suits. Stability is also not one of our strong suits right now. Cascatel, huh? Igor. Oh, double AC-10. Nasty. And the sniper artillery has not even taken his turn yet. The vulture already done, which means he has chances that we fall. They are big. Get out of the fire. Don't shoot the flyer. Because we are here to shackle the ire. You got him. Got him. Did we headshot him? Yeah, we headshot him. Um, well, that's a way to not get a martyr. Because we negotiated for exactly yes. one salvage. Cool. Great. Uh-huh. Love it. We're gonna stay... We're gonna stay in the forest, I guess. Damage mitigation is important here. Let's roll. Damage reduction is key. Uh, we have SAM? No? We have Tandem. Tandem against the flyer is perfect. Although the hit chance is lower than Artemis, I think it's the right call. Where is it? There we go. Ah! Is it? Three damage directly to internals times 80? 75, actually. And then reduced by this hit chance. So let's say we hit 30. Times three, the 90 damage spread all over the place. We have to destroy 42 structure. It's not gonna happen, I guess. Do we have anything that helps us? No. Huh. Huh? I don't see it happen. We have decent clustering. Maybe it is Artemis. Dealing more raw damage with a higher hit chance. All right, let's go with that. On there are other targets and other tanks that we can possibly destroy later. Not quite it. 17 was needed. Ah, so, the rocks. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. This is not a good hit chance, but the Cobalt needs to go as well. I mean, we can follow up on the flyer and uh, support the right flank here. Also giving the Jazz something to fire at. And we have Vigilance, so let's use it. Pow. Here we go. Three precision shots are left. I think I'd rather go all in with all the shots that I have with standard ammo. Makes more sense. Alright, this flyer is down. Double AC-10 off the board. Mm -hmm. I am afraid, I am afraid. Hot boy. Hot boy can attack the Jazz, which is fantastic. These LRMs and MMLs and medium lasers need to go. And fire deals lots of damage against vehicles. So we could crank up our hit chance a little bit. Ideally this is gonna be SRM but we are out of range. Jazz also has a lot of armor. I have one in my Twitch playthrough. It's a fantastic tank. It's really good. It's armed to the teeth. Oh god. So yeah, I think it is now softened up enough so that our melee mecha next round maybe kill this thing with a kick. But we still have a Cobalt here and we still have the Rock Centurion. And we have a very vulnerable Vulture. Robot is running away, that's good to see. Means he's only shooting indirectly or 
Yeah, that's it. This is fine. Still don't like the sniper artillery here on this high ground, on the right side. This might happen again here, the whole heat scenario. How do I prevent them from hitting us? I'll move here. Roger. And we go smoke. Smoke. Like that. All right. This is a way to maybe mitigate some damage. I don't know. The JS is probably gonna get out of the cloud though. And the Centurion is also fast enough. But it is the thing that we can do right now. Maybe they are dumb. We'll see. Ah, uh, yeah. Luckily, his aim wasn't that great. So we are still on our feet. Commander? Arrow. Oh, arrow. Oh, arrow, oh, arrow. I wanted to attack the Kobold, but maybe it is the Jazz. We have a pretty good hit chance on this guy. We also have Sensor Lock. With a Guided Bolt. <laughs> guided Bolt. I was thinking about Guiding Bolt because I was playing D&D yesterday and we had a Cleric. <laughs> guiding Bolt! Um, that's 100 damage. This would breach the Kobold if we hit side. And it's a one-shot kill. We should try to go for the one-shot kills. We wouldn't deal so much against the Jazz anyway, so... Let's go and uh, drop a guiding bolt on this guy's side, huh? Shall we? Let's do it. Roger that. That's what I'm talking about. That's a kill. That is guns off the board and quite a significant one. Cool. So, now it's getting interesting. Turn 15. It's a sniper artillery. What's he gonna do? Ow. Oh, it hurts. The hot boy is hot himself now. I'm taking I was a direct hit, so therefore a lot of heat. Also, big. AOE Hazard. Turn 14, the Atlas. Large lasers. Missiles that don't really impact us. Only a little bit. We hold our ground. If the Jazz decides to go for my Vulture as well, we get a knock. We might even get a casualty here. Maybe. Yeah. Our AMS is without ammo or jammed or whatever. So there's a knock. But the armor is holding. It's our benefit. Ah. Ah. I'm wounded, Commander. So much for that. Uh, I gotta go. Prepping for My people need me. Mm, not a good hit chance. We have a hit chance on the Atlas, but the sniper artillery needs to go. This is my bigger target right now. What about we go... I don't know. Is here incendiary is 30 damage. Hmm. Can we overheat this guy? Can we overheat an Atlas with only incendiaries? Keep him quiet for a while so he wouldn't bother us. I want to see. Copy that. He's already pretty hot. He's cooking. Oh, yes. Oh, that was good. That was exactly what we needed. Yes. Perfect. Huh. I guess we have a problem. The problem is heat. Artemis. No direct line of sight, and the fire is actually killing our accuracy. That's what we're gonna be doing here. No lasers. Are we running radical heat sinks? No, right? No, this is just regular, good old fashioned double heat sinks. Ah, uh, I hate it. I think we can afford going slightly, slightly overheat. Tandem would be a good ammo now. Now we have an actual hit chance. And we only need to destroy 50 structure with a crap ton of damage. I guess I go all in. What a chance of getting things done. All right. Please tell me we got a kill here. Yeah. That was good. I love it. And we're just gonna the eat line. the heat. I know we are staying staying steady right now, but we have an overheated Atlas and Sniper Artillery who is peppering us with more heat. So it's not gonna be that big of a deal, I guess. Unless they decide to go for, like, shape charges and kill us now with big massive pinpoint damage. Also, PPCs. Oh, there it is. They're called Stealth Bombers for a reason. Uh-huh. Aye, aye. 
Radical Heat Scene Kit is active. How do we get out of here? We can jump. We can only jump into the next cloud of fire. Probably still the right choice. I probably want to brace this, do I? So what is my hit? Actually, this is quite possible. Let's shoot three times at the Atlas, obviously with a better hit chance. The Radical Heat Sink Kit being active though. We need to bring it down to like zero, almost zero, for it to not have a fail chance. So I think I can afford one Plasma. But one Plasma is more than I was hoping for, so let's go. Locking on target. No, that's a miss. 32%. Damn it. Yeah. Receiving you. you get what you're paying for. Uh, Centurion. I mean, I can shoot him in the back. Being in the cloud. Not optimal. But my melee make has not really anything to do anymore. Unless the Centurion decides to come around here and present itself. Uh, let's start a melee here. This is uh, for attracting fire from the scent. Hoping that he's not going all in. And I'm okay with actually... Getting a little bit hot. Taking the shot. Pew. Hey, turn around, buddy. Waiting for orders. Utrid. Utrid is actually in a good spot. He doesn't see anything, which is a problem, but we might change that. You got it. They're getting slightly closer. 6%. Ah. Well. Might as well shoot because we have no problems with heat at all. Double miss, as expected. At 18%, I'm no luck. barely hoping. I'm receiving you. Hmm. Full Gotta portion. bring our jamming in here so that these guys are actually hittable. Airburst at 1%. Hmm. Flares? Flares would help. Can I shoot flares at the flyer? No. I don't care about the Atlas. Atlas is gonna overheat anyway. You know what we're gonna be doing? I think it's gonna be Inferno and Smoke. I hope that I can light the forest on fire around him and give him some extra hit chance reduction with Smoke. You know, being in a forest that is on fire is really bad for your hit chance. Here comes the Sand. He's not taking the bait. He's going for the Vulture, I guess. No, but even better. He's going for the Arrow, which takes some damage. Again, as long as we're not dying, this is fine. And it's the left side, which is beautiful. Means we can now... Oh yeah, minimum distance. There was something like that. Hmm. I wanted to say we can now twist like that and expose the right side in this direction there. I want to shoot him with my VSPLs, kind of, and the arrow, obviously. We just move like this. VSPLs would have horrible hit chance. There's no sweet spot, huh? It's either VSPL or arrow. Okay. In that case, this is 57 everywhere we go. 64 here. Interesting. Right, Commander. Fire. Firing on target. Yeah, double hit on the same location. Love it. Critical. Down he goes. That was really lucky. But sometimes you just gotta get lucky. Beautiful. That means our vulture can stand up again, uncontested. Maybe. Comes down to the sniper artillery. Here it comes. Shooting. Ooh, the Crusader with a direct hit, actually. I'm generating a lot of heat command. That's okay, because that's the target that still had some health and everything. The Vulture has one job now. Getting the hell away from the front line. And taking care of the Centurion. High explosive. This is not streak, this is indirect. I wanna have some kind of hit chance. I got you. That's not enough. Atlas overheat, just overheat. Whoa, he's rocking it up. That was unexpected. And he's not cooking. I mean, he is hot, but... What is it already? Wow. He can get out of the fire, so that's the good news. We have no hit chance, that's the bad news. What about the sniper artillery? Seems okay, I mean, we are running tandem. Artemis is better, and 
I guess we go for the snipes now. Could also go for the send, but we have the Black Knight here, we got the Crow here, the, the Vulture actually. I'm a bit afraid of the Stealth Bomber doing things, but the Crusader is faster than the Bomber, so we can get, hopefully we can get away from this. Yep, I know, we're hot. Pushing the red line. Alright, Maki, turn off the hot seat. I don't think we need it here. Let's not generate too much heat. Understood. Hello. Moving fast. I got medium lasers. I'm gonna shoot your leg. Here we go. Four. Confirmed. Four is needed. Yet again, get away from the front line. We gotta keep got you, you safe, Mr. Vulture. And we're gonna go for leg again. This is all indirect shots, this is high explosive, because close range, more damage, and we even hit with the peep. So the first lance is down. What a fight, guys. What a freaking fight. Aye, aye. Uh, yes, please get out of here, get high ground. Actually, is distance the better choice, or do we just get uh, into a fighting position so we can still shoot? We have still some incendiary shots, and the Atlas needs to, kept, needs to be kept hot. There's also bombs coming down from the bomber. This might be really bad for our health. But he's gonna catch us anyway, wherever we go. Right? This is the furthest I can get away from. I would be out of range for my rucks on the Atlas. I could also attack the snipe artillery. But if I cluster up too much, I'd have a problem. A big problem with AO freaking E. Let's get the 5 evasion and get. Our, all of our options here on the high ground. We're gonna use Vigilance, obviously. I could attack this, but no. 25 is also pretty bad. Alright. Emergency coolant system is active at 15% fail chance. These lasers actually will do something. They might find their, their way to a head component, so I'll go for it. And we're gonna try to keep him as hard as possible. This might not be enough, but let's do our best. Alright. Now it's getting interesting. What's the bomber gonna do? This guy's turn 16, already damaged. He's going away, perfect. This is not bomb range. This is, however, missile range. Ooh, and they got accuracy. Yo, how do we recover from this mission? Orders. This is a tough one. So we could jump. We could sprint for four. I don't like this at all, but I think we gotta be aggressive and finish it. Uh-huh. Alright, mister. Also, Vigilance, because the frontliners need to be protected. I don't care about damage here. It's all hit chance. Affirmative. But one, two, three, four hits. Good. And that's a direct overheat. Perfect. So, Mr. Atlas, you're gonna be sighted for a turn. That gives us some relief at the very least. What is this here? 21%. Nothing. Yeah, the problem is the fire. If we get out of it, Position which we can, what happens then? 26. Still nothing. I guess we shoot anyway. Let's make it count. We're gonna use the capacitor. Or capacitator. <laughs> Some people are actually ups upset about me still saying it wrong, although I got it right already. But you know what? Sometimes I'm doing it to troll you. Good to go. I'm sorry. Cool. What about an arrow to the face? Double time. Double time. Out of range for a direct shot. You can go for a flag shot, which also does nothing. Huh? I mean, this does, does deal very little damage. And artillery shot has a 21% chance. We could, I don't know, still try to soften this guy up. Usually staying on a single target is, to, is a good idea. That's the better chance to hit. I go with that. Yeah, arrow. Of course, arrow. For some reason, I thought I was running artillery here, but it's an arrow and he has uh, flares eating them up. Commander. My bad. My bad. My bad. All right. We're gonna keep shooting. I will do the same thing. Inferno plus shot. smoke, hoping that his hit chance is garbage. Here we go. Okay. Sniper artillery. Still in the smoke. 
It's another direct hit. It's insane how accurate they are. Still shooting Infernal though, which is better for us. It's go time. It's better than direct damage. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, let's go somewhere where I can hit the artillery. Engaging jump jet. Jumping. No incendiaries. I want standard. Although incendiaries deal a bit more damage, I think I want to keep them for later. Maybe we need some extra on the Atlas. Get him, boy. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yes, Commander. Speaking of boy, Hot Boy is in a problematic situation. We cannot jump out of this hazard. Oh, wait, we can. Don't want to. Thing is, we are still guarded and have four evasion. I can shoot and then jump away. Man, that radical is gonna blow up, right? What about my sensor ping here? Out of range. It's this little dotted line. Yeah, I go for it and then jump away. Locking in all weapons. With the hope that we get a kill here. Come on. Ah! Almost. Inflicted some heavy I still stand by my decision. Let's get away from here. This heat is cooking, my this heat is cooking I know, but it has to be done. I'm gonna hold this. Is the Atlas still overheated? Did he start up? I'm not sure. He might actually get a turn. We are out of bomb range again. Ooh. Ooh. This is bad. Yeah. This is so bad. Taking damage. I have a pretty good feeling of what I want to do now. That is keeping my boys in the back. Not doing anything. Good to go. Secret. No hit chance, huh? But wait, we should have a hit chance on the Atlas now. But no direct line of sight. Everything is burning, which is a huge pain in the butt. So if I move here, what's my hit chance? 57 is not bad. We could possibly try to go for a headshot, but we would deal uh, suboptimal damage. It says we deal 81, but I don't trust in that. Why would we deal 81? Capacitor? Really? That much? I'll be gambling. Alright, I gamble. Maybe we get a kill here. 47%. We deal 81 damage to the face. Hey, we got Warlord. Let's try. Every little bit that counts, counts. 11.6 on the face. Two shots at 50% chance. Alright, at the very least we have him unsteady, seemingly. And scrambled sensors. Alright. What do you want? Problem is that the sniper artillery just needs a little bit of damage. Tiny little bits. I wonder if the flames are enough. Do we shoot him or do we not shoot him? We need to shoot him. There's, there's way more than we need, yeah. Or than the flames would do. Who's gonna deal the damage to the flyer? I wanna sensor lock him with my oracle and then shoot the crap out of him, but who's gonna do the damage? I think it has to be the vulture. Maybe it is the Vulture shooting in direct... Ah, we don't have the range for it. Never mind. No, no, no. Forget it. I want to get away from here. But not into the fire. One evasion is nothing. Might as well stand still and shoot with accuracy. Let's swap ammo. Guns on target. All right. We got that nasty out of the game now. That's Take good. That, you Commander? Okay. I mean, my arrow is also not really gonna do much thanks to the flares and the AMS that that guy is running. So, how do we play this? The funny thing is that we actually have a hit chance. Why? We even have no sensor. This guy has mimetic armor. Why is our arrow so accurate? Because of flak? Interesting. Uh, let's sensor lock him so everybody can see. He's not immune lock. to sensor locks. Oh, this is gonna be so good. So damn good. Gotta do a nice right side twist here. Coordinates received. Get a bit closer. I don't really care if we hit or not. Actually, the medium BSBL, I should have taken care of them. 
Uh, still good enough, I guess. Let's go. Got it. Maybe we can dry out the AMS, I don't know. But hey, now that we have that this clear, for we can shot. actually use yep. our Oracle at turn 17 to do another sensor sweep. I'm here. Oh god. This is risky. We can get to cover down here. Alright. Ah, I see just Both just now Spice Head is uh yeah, it is uh, taken already. Anyway, we can do that. This guy is still... We didn't even need to go for offensive, but should have checked. Yeah, he is still overheated. Well then, let's go ahead and put some more stuff on him, shall we? Get some more fire. There's a chance we hit head, but we didn't. Okay. Good to go. Okay, 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 okay. So, melee mech. Stop supercharging, go hard seat. Gotta get into the fight and absorb some damage too. It's nothing. Well... Roger this that. little forest is still a forest and not a blazing inferno. Confirmed. ATMs. What's my range? I can't shoot him. Left side twist. I th I still Let's think go. we need to do as much as we can here. We got infernos which will which will deal the same amount of damage as standard ammo and still since we have standard mostly, I'm gonna go with that. All right, here we go. It is tiny bits of damage, but I hope Battle it will help. What we need now is initiative. We have it. Oh god, he as well. Ready for orders. Wow. Yes. Just wow. This is a huge gamble, but I'm gonna do it. I go offensive push. All the missiles that we have. Stand and shoot this Gunshot for charge. highest impact. Let's push him back in initiative and see if we can uh, just Receiving ball you. up on him. We need to get to turn 26. He's at 28 currently. Doesn't matter how much we shoot as long as we shoot. I mean, it doesn't matter if we hit or not. As long as we shoot him. High ground. I don't even vigilance this. Offensive push. Hit him. To the front. God, my radical heat sink kit will blow up. I'm gonna shoot him like that. Again, it's not really about the damage here. This is about technical decisions. LRMs. Yeah, we even hit him. That's good. He is now turned 22. Oh, beautiful. This is what we needed. Still, our hit chance is garbage because of stealth. From burning forest plus 5, target moved plus 8, long range plus 2. Okay, so there's that. Let's change all of this. Let's get a bit closer and get out of the burning forest. Capacitor is broken. Oh, was it 10%? I thought it would only check if you shoot. Well, I guess we know now. We might also get a tag on him. Yeah, we got him. Alright, initiative manipulation was what actually saved us here. Okay. Thing is, the Atlas is up and running again. What are we doing against that guy? Give him a target, I guess. Move here. It's a very evasive target. I don't know if that's gonna do anything, but we'll see. No ping, not in range. Ah, yes. Oh, please. Give it to me. Emergency coolant system, also active. Atlas is cooled down completely, so we gotta make the jump happen. Ah, oh, we can jump into his flank. Affirmative. This is good for our hit chance. So, shredding... Or not. We only got, wait, 12 shots, so a full alpha strike left. Let's see how po potent our overheat stuff is. Targeting for an alpha strike. I don't think that we have significant damage to apply to the Atlas, but that's insane. AC5, that is exactly what we needed just now. I'll wait for the Atlas to take a turn before I bring the Vulture in, but I want to bring the Vulture in. Good to go. Arrow. Uh, running flag mode. Uh, we can't get it. We cannot get a direct shot, so we have to shoot indirectly. And I think it's still okay, as long as we are right side twisted, we are fine. The Atlas is not gonna kill our tank, but I want it to attack the tank. Oh, there we go. Great. So we're gonna do something like this. Moving fast. Ideally, he's gonna take the bait, and I'll just drop the arrow on his face. Knockdown? Nah. 
No, we, we had to hit him directly in order to get there. Cool. Let's go down here. Get his sensor scrambled. Get some more Inferno on his face. Because that's what we are here for. He's also standing in the burning area, which is really nice for us. But... Is he gonna shoot anything? He is. And he is hitting. I was honestly not expecting him to move up here and get in line of sight. I completely misassessed the situation. I thought we were safe in our cover, but we weren't. We're gonna help out with everybody that we have now. Just a peep? Alright, fine. I'll take every shot I can. And the Atlas is not the fastest in the universe, so... This is the moment where we go in with precision ammunition. Cool down completely because the emergency coolant system is about to blow up around us. Let's go. Firing a full salvo. Oh, we had three shots left. Yeah, I should probably I'm take a look at that. Get our mistakes. Damn it. Copy that. Anything that we can shoot here? Just a peep. I'm on him. It's another hit though. He's open. Waiting for orders. 10% on a charger. I need that. It hurts if the, th if the thing goes boom now, but I need that now. It's fine. Roger that. Become the medium VSPL. Oh, sorry, medium X pulse, and we got something critical. A hand is destroyed. Got a critical hit. The soul's got a critical what hit. Stand and shoot this. Maximum damage. Artemis is about to fail. So we go... Typhon is out of range. We got some EMP still, which is actually good. Let's go, EMP. Guns on target. We might get some criticals and blow them up. We'll see. There we go. What a mission! Alright, so the precision ammo fail was not meaningful in the end. That's good. It didn't cause anything. We made it out of this, but with major damage. Holy crap, what a mission. They threw everything against us. But we made it out with two freaking million seabills. Love it. The repair cost is gonna be massive. Uh, I'm gonna show it to you here. Uh, and we have one pick. One pick. I don't uh, see another Atlas coming to life soon. We want the Dreadnought. It's a good one. We have four parts because of the headshot. Igor is not a thing I want. Cobalt. Cobalt is real big money, 2.4 mil, but I think the Jazz is more. This is a very good tank. Ah, not quite. Okay. Dreadnought? I mean, that's insane. This is just raw value. Even if we don't find anything good here, we're gonna probably take the, take the, the Dreadnought, huh? Come on, let's be real. So, Clan 20. Do we need a Clan 20? Not really. No, it's fine. We don't need MMLs, we don't need rocks. All of these things, don't get me wrong, are good, but I don't necessarily need them. The Spinal Gauss Heavy... Spinal Mount Heavy Gauss Rifle has one big problem, and that is it needs to be in the center torso. And you need to have a ballistic slot uh, in the center with, uh, I think, three slots open or something. Six slots go to the side, maybe two or three go to the center, so this thing is massive. And you need the ballistic hardpoint on the center torso. If you don't have that, you cannot run it. And the slots. However, it is an incredible weapon. 180 damage at 860 meters, it is perfect for headshotting. You just deal damage and, and kill enemies before they can even see you. Reliably. And even if you don't hit cockpit, you put so many big holes in them. I, I don't know if we should prioritize this for the sake of a possible build, or if you just take that and just have it lying around for money and maybe build a full Marta later. Don't know. Composite is extremely good. We want to put that in the Atlas, but we have one, so never mind. We don't need any exchanges here. What we take is something of the rare big ones. All of these things are good. But none of these things are as rare as this Heavy Gauss and or the Mata. The Heavy Gauss is actually runnable because it runs Heavy Gauss ammo. We don't need Railgun ammo for it, correct? Mm, and he had shape charges, so he could have dealt 100 damage. That is the artillery. Radical compact, don't care about it. Ah. Uh, I mean, given the circumstances, we actually did very well. 
It is good. It's a 40% chance for a knockdown when firing this weapon. You gotta brace the round before and then not move the round after to mitigate that, to completely erase it. Or I think have gunnery or piloting or something? Hmm. I'm not sure if I should take the risk Dreadnought or if I should take the Spine Mount Heavy Gauss. I think I'll take the 100 tonner. Let's go. Get a Seth. Get a Hardened Pharaoh. Okay. Completely forgot about that thing, that that exists, but we just got lucky. <laughs> nice, a radical compact heatsink kit. I don't like compacts, so I'm not gonna run them, I guess. I get a 20 when active. Yeah, it's just compacts are not really good. Um, This hardened pharaoh. I mean, we have one lying around. I'm gonna instantly sell it, right? Goodbye, 2.6 million. Thank you very much. And we also got the dreadnought and a Seth stealth bomber part. Ooh, that was crazy, guys. That was so crazy. Now, what is our repairs cost gonna be? I assume it's in the range of, honestly, 300,000. Most of the damage went to a single mech, our vulture, sure, and the arrow. And there was a bit of splash, but it wasn't that significant. I'd say 300,000. Let's say 325,000. That's my estimate here. What's yours before you see it now? Leave a comment now. Huh? What's it gonna be? We'll see. 296. So the 300 assessment earlier was the right call. Interesting. Alrighty, guys. That was a good mission. Question is, how much repair time do we have? Yeah, a lot. Hmm. We gotta fix that somehow, because the next mission is coming in... Three days. It's always three days, isn't it? I guess so. And didn't we fight for the Draconis Combined Forces? What's happening here? Huh? The Draconis Combined is falling. It's negative one now. I would have expected more. But that's the story for the next video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. And as always, if you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, if you want to support me, you can become a channel member. There's a button beneath the video stage that you can click. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.